Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and in this video I want to talk about some of the key features in the newly released Lightroom Classic version 10. So I'm going to be just talking about um, the classic version of Lightroom here um, but some of these features are also in the cloud version or Lightroom desktop as well and also the color grading feature which I'm going to talk about first um, is also uh, going to be in the latest version of Camera Raw. So let me dive right in and the biggest key feature is of course the all new color grading tool. So the color grading tool replaces the old split toning um, and you can still kind of achieve the same effect which I will get to in a second but for now you will find it in the develop module and it is under the HSL color control um, and the color grading is basically it's the same as a three-way color corrector that you would find in a video editing suite and they've kind of adapted it to make it their own version of it um, but if you have used video editing you will find it immediately familiar so let me give you a quick demonstration so one of the things that I love about color grading and I've been using these controls um, both in video applications and in other software such as Capture One for quite some time now is that you can actually do almost all of your editing in just using the color grading control um, depending on <laughs> depending on your image of course so um, let me give you an example here so this image I have just brought it in it's an autumn scene and I have done nothing else to it and what I want to do is kind of bring up the warm tones a bit and just the, just the contrast and stuff and to do that I'm going to use nothing but the color grading control okay so you have three sections you have shadows midtones and highlights and um, each of these wheels allows you to just the hue uh, saturation of the tint of that area but also you can adjust the luminance and you have you can have the option of viewing the controls as three small wheels or you can view them individually so you have shadows midtones and highlights but I'm gonna go back to the three-way for a minute so what I want to do with this is warm it up a bit and add a bit of contrast so I'm going to just start with the midtone slider and I'm gonna bring some warm tones into the mids okay and you can see that's quite warm now but what we want to do is balance that out by bringing maybe some more cool tones into the shadows okay so I'm going to bring maybe we'll go a bit of green and you can see that's actually it's brought the blacks up quite a bit because of the way it's tinting it um, and this is where the luminance control comes in so we can just drag this back down and we can adjust this like so and then for the highlights we can just add a bit more warmth to the highlights so there is before and there's after and that is just entirely using the color grading tool so a couple of things about um, the way they've implemented this in Lightroom um, you have a couple of keyboard modifiers so if you want to make fine adjustments you hold down the alt key and you can just do fine adjustments like so if you hold down the shift key it will lock it to control the amount of the color you want or the saturation and then if you hold down the command key uh, you can lock basically lock the saturation and control the hue okay and there's some other controls here as well so this outer ring will also work to control the hue um, another thing I've noticed and this is kind of a bit weird the way they've implemented this is that if you hold if you go to drag this it remains locked but if you want to kind of move it off you have to kind of give it a good shove um, one of the things I found is if you hold down the alt key and then let it go you can also achieve the same thing without actually just making a dramatic move with it um, the other thing is we have this these two controls here blending and balance so balance works pretty much the same way as it did in the old uh, split tone and then blending basically blends the corrections between all three into each other so if you want to do the old split tone uh, if you turn blending to 100% and just use the shadow and highlight sliders you will have the same effect and also too if you use presets that uses the old um, split toning um, it will basically they'll apply with blending set to 100 and just have the controls used on this on the shadow and highlight um, color wheel so that is pretty much it for the color grading um, the second big new feature they have added is um, what they're calling scrubby zoom so basically if you hold down the shift key you can now zoom in and out like so but just by scrubbing back and forward 
and they have also done a box zoom. So if you hold down the command key and let go, you will zoom like that. Um, the other new feature, it's kind of a minor thing, um, but uh, you probably noticed it already, is they've actually changed the user interface font um, to Adobe Clean. And um, it actually looks a little kind of more modern, so I think that works quite well. And then finally, the uh, big new feature, if you're a Canon shooter, um, they have added uh, a tether live view. So you can get a live view if you're tethering with a Canon camera. I don't have a Canon camera um, that supports tethering with this to demonstrate it. So uh, I can't demonstrate that, unfortunately. But that is just a super quick overview of the key new features of uh, Lightroom 10. Um, there is, of course, the usual bug fixes, and there's some performance improvements in the library view and stuff like that as well, and of course, new camera support. Um, I will have a blog post, and I will link to it in the description below with in-depth details of all the new features and all the other things that have been added. Um, one other thing, uh, just to be aware of, is they've changed some of the system re um, requirements. So they dropped support for High Sierra on the Mac, and uh, you now need Mojave at a minimum. And on Windows, they dropped support for Windows 7 and some earlier versions of Windows 10. But yes, yeah, so that is our super quick overview of what's new in Windows 10. And uh, I hope you have found this useful. And don't forget to check out my blog as well. Link will be in the description below. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.